Wow. <clears throat> I was just here the other day and that was not here. This is terrible. I don't know why people do this kind of stuff. Just awful. Good morning. <laughs> so I was here Saturday and Sunday last week because this is one of the closest trails to my house and it's super super nice and I've already filmed here before so I just thought I'd come out here and hike it again because my grandkids started school two days a week now so I have a little bit of more free time for myself and not only free time for myself but they need to be in school you know I mean my grandson started school this week and it broke my heart when he got home because he said grandma he goes I really enjoyed being in school today you know his first day back and I totally understand him because I just can't imagine being in a bedroom, sitting on a chair all day in front of a Chromebook, doing school like that, you know? I mean, I know they're trying to keep them safe and everything, but I just really feel that kids should be going back to school already, full time. Even if they cut the day short, you know, right now, they're going from 8.30 to 1.30 instead of 8 to 2.30, I think it was before. You know, if they wanna keep it short, keep it short. But I really do think they should be going back full time, Monday through Friday, you know, but it is what it is, right? I'm just excited that I have two days for me, me time, to come out here and uh, do my hiking. This is what I love to do. This is what I enjoy. And um, now I have two more days to do that, you know? I don't have to wait till Saturday and Sunday to do it. I can come out and hike two days a week and then on the weekends. Look how gorgeous it is. How could you not love this? So beautiful, so green. I like coming this early in the morning because um, you see little rabbits running around. I just seen one right now, but it took off. As long as I don't see any other wild animals bigger than a rabbit, like a mountain lion, which my son did see on this trail before. But, you know, it happens. And there is quite a few people here. Um, I've seen a lot of cars, and I've seen a lot of people getting out of their cars starting the trail, but everybody goes their own different way. So the way that I go is 
the way I like to go, so. It's just so gorgeous. We have homes really close by too. And I don't know, but I see a lot of fencing around here. I don't know if, if they're gonna start doing construction around here. I don't know if they're gonna start building. I'm hoping they don't because that means that we probably won't have this trail anymore if they start building homes in this area. They already did on the other side. So I'm hoping they don't on this side. But it looks like they are. I don't know. This is my favorite part right here. Look how pretty. Big shaded area. That was a pretty steep hill. Ah. So I seen a few ladies with their dogs right now. And I was going to bring my dog, but I had to go pick up some prescriptions for my husband and then I had to go get my kids at home to take him to school. So um, I just didn't want to get the crate, get the dog, put the harness on her and all that. So. I'll bring her another time, but this is a very good trail for her to do and she's a chunky monkey So I got to make her walk. So I'm gonna start bringing her with me I'm just gonna get things ready a lot earlier next time This is the first week that the kids go both kids go to school so This is the first week I start hiking But I'm gonna definitely bring my dog with me she'll enjoy it very much <sighs> but I like sleeping in too so <laughs> if I don't have to wake up as early then I'll sleep in but I gotta wake my kids up well my grandkids for school too because I like keeping them overnight I'm that grandma that doesn't like to have them out early in the morning just to get them to me. So I tell my daughter, you know what? Pick them up after work for a few hours and then bring them back to me. I'll put them to bed. I'll wake them up. I'll get them ready for school and I'll take them. And then after work, you come pick them up. And then that's our little routine. Because I've had a lot of people ask me if they live with me. Good morning. If they live with me or if I have custody of them and stuff, no. I have two girls, they both have kids. Well, I have three girls and one son, but two, my two older girls have the kids and before the pandemic, I was taking care of my three older grandkids. And um, once everything started, then one of them uh, stays with his dad um, and then, well, for school, and then um, the other two stay with me, so. And then the baby goes to a really good daycare. So, that's the way we do it. Of course, anytime I wanna take uh, some time, you know, I just uh, let my daughters know, just say, you know what, I'm gonna be going out of town, or I'm gonna be doing this or that, and, you know, we work it out, but now that school started it'll probably be a little bit more difficult <sighs> man you see that lady running by <sighs> i'm 51. she was probably 70 or older she was running up this hill Whew. 
that's what I want to be like when I'm 70. I mean, she could have been less or more, I don't know. But she looked pretty up there and she was kicking ass on this hill. And that's what I want to be like when I grow up. I'm sweating it's so peaceful out here I am the only one out here right now there's a bunch of people up here but who knows where they're at and it's just so quiet and peaceful this is like seriously a really really good stress reliever for me I think that's why I like hiking so much I just love it because just a really good stress reliever for me and today you can see all the way out to the beach I could see the ocean I think it's the ocean unless it's something white that I'm seeing but I think it's the waves I'm not sure just kidding it's the some kind of a roof or something I knew it was too good to be true because it's always overcast and you can't see all the way out there. So there's a swing here. It was here, then I guess somebody took it down and then somebody put it back up. hear all the birds there's so many different sounds so pretty I really wish I would have started hiking when I was younger because I probably would have tried one of those through hikes the PCT the AT or the CDT, which is the Continental Divide. I know I said this before on my other videos, if you've watched them, but I follow quite a few people on YouTube that are actually um, doing one of those hikes right now, or that have done them. And right now, I'm following this girl, a young girl, her name is Daisy, she's on YouTube, um, Daisy Hikes, that girl is a badass, I'm telling you, she's on the CDT, which is the Continental Divide, it's the trail that goes from the Mexican border in New Mexico, I believe all the way to Canada, and it goes through um, New Mexico, Colorado, um, 
think Wyoming, all those. And this is, she's going for her triple crown, which means this is the third through hike that she's gonna complete. She already did the PCT from the Mexican border to Canada. She already did the Appalachian Trail. And now she's doing this one. Um, she just started probably a week ago. But I watch her YouTube videos and man, if I was any younger, <laughs> I'd probably try to do that. But I don't know if I could do something like that now. And then I also um, follow on Instagram the one through hiker we met over at the PCT um, section that we did back in uh, the end of March. She's doing great also. Um, and then I follow <laughs> this guy IT or what is it? IB Tat, I think it is. He's funny. Now, if you get offended with people cussing or saying bad words and stuff like that, don't watch him because <laughs> he has a mouth on him. But I think he's super cool. And um, he's done the PCT, he's done the Appalachian Trail, and He's on the Continental Divide now, also. He just started that one. So, I guess I'm living my dream through them. And I'm here hiking the smaller trails in my backyard. But it's okay. It is what it is, right? Back in my younger days, I was either doing nothing or just going to the gym all the time which now that I figured out how much I love to hike I wish I wouldn't have spent so much time at the gym because all I did was cardio I would get on the elliptical or the treadmill and that's it <laughs> I also have a little gym at home that I hardly ever use because I, I get bored elliptical. I have a treadmill, I have a stationary bike, I have mirrors with quotes on them, I have weights, I have a, one of those exercise balls, I have a trampoline, I have my TV, I have a whole setup. But do I use it? Sometimes I get on there and I'm walking on my treadmill and I get bored because I'd rather be out here. This is therapy to me. This is something that I love to do and if you don't do it, try it. I think you'll love it. I think this is the spot, around the spot where my son seen the mountain lion. Probably a year ago or two. Thankfully, I haven't seen one. I did see a coyote once, but he ran away. Relax.
All right, so this is some access road right here. I've seen trucks up here before. And if you follow this road, it'll lead up to some water tanks. I usually don't walk up towards the water tanks because then I gotta take this really steep decline to get back to where I started. And um, that's hard on my knees. So I kinda cut across a different path, which is a lot prettier too, and a lot easier. Darn flies, there's so many flies today. We were way over there. I hear people coming too. if you could see but the water tanks are right there yep you could see them right around there those little water tanks well they're not little they're big but those are the water tanks I'm talking about see I'm so shaky I just went up the last little hill. Check out this area. This is so pretty. Look at that. All the colors. Oh man. Okay, it's all downhill from here. My grandkids have a blast when they come here. I bring them here and they get a head start and they start running all the way from up here. And then they run and all these little bike ramps, they use them to run against them all the way down. Sometimes they fall and sometimes they make it, but they love it. So I noticed this the other day. Those little holes make the eyes and the nose and then somebody drew a smile so it makes a little happy face. Cute. Almost done. almost done it took me longer than usual just because I kept stopping and taking pictures and filming and you know just enjoying it so even though I've been here so many times already you know it's never the same so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys are enjoying your time without kids, if your kids are back at school. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. 
and then hit on that little notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a video. All right, till next time, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.